In this video, we will explain the 9 principles from the book Think and Grow Rich talking about how to start your path to wealth from scratch. Think and Grow Rich is a self-help book written by Napoleon Hill and first published in 1937. The book is based on Hill's interviews with successful individuals of his time, including Andrew Carnegie, Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and other prominent figures, as well as his own experiences in studying successful people. So you need a great cup of coffee or your favorite beverage. And let's have fun! Welcome, dear follower, to the Rich Books channel. Where coffee, music, and book. The idea of the channel is that I read a book and give you a benefit. If you want to benefit from reading without what you read, subscribe to the channel. The book consists of nine principles, each of which addresses a specific success principle. The Power of Thought. In this part, Napoleon Hill introduces the concept of the book and explains how he came to study the principles of success. Hill begins by describing his encounter with Andrew Carnegie, the steel magnate and one of the richest men in the world at the time. Carnegie challenged Hill to spend the next 20 years interviewing successful people and studying their habits, in order to write a book that would teach others how to achieve success. Hill accepted the challenge and spent the next two decades interviewing successful individuals, including Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and many others. He studied their habits, attitudes, and behaviors, and distilled their wisdom into the principles of success that are outlined in the book. The main idea of the first chapter is that success begins with the power of thought. Hill explains that everything in the physical world begins as a thought in the mind, and that our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. He emphasizes that our thoughts are the starting point for all achievement, and that by controlling our thoughts, we can control our destiny. Desire, the starting point of every achievement. Napoleon Hill stresses the importance of having a burning desire to succeed and explains how this desire is the starting point for all achievement. Hill begins by saying that the starting point of all achievement is desire. He explains that desire is the fuel that drives individuals to take action and pursue their goals. Without a strong desire, individuals are unlikely to take the necessary steps to achieve their goals. Hill also emphasizes that desire must be specific, and that individuals must have a clear and definite goal in mind. He explains that a vague desire for success is not enough, and that individuals must have a specific objective that they are working towards. To illustrate the power of desire, Hill provides several examples of successful individuals who achieved great things because of their burning desire. He mentions figures such as Henry Ford, who had a burning desire to create an affordable and reliable automobile for the masses, and Thomas Edison, who had a burning desire to invent the electric light bulb. Hill also explains that desire must be backed by faith. He emphasizes that individuals must have faith that they can achieve their goals and that their desires can become reality. Without faith, individuals are likely to give up on their goals when faced with obstacles or setbacks. Finally, Hill emphasizes that desire must be persistent. He explains that individuals must be willing to overcome obstacles and setbacks in order to achieve their goals. He emphasizes that persistence is essential for achieving success, and that individuals who are willing to persist in the face of adversity are more likely to achieve their goals. Faith, Belief in the Fulfillment of Desire Napoleon Hill explains the importance of faith in achieving one's desires and how it can be used to turn thoughts into reality. Hill begins by defining faith as a state of mind that may be stimulated or created by the affirmation or repeated instructions of the subconscious mind. He explains that faith is the power that enables individuals to transform their desires into reality and that without faith, desires remain mere wishes. Hill emphasizes that faith must be accompanied by visualization, which is the process of creating mental images of one's desires. He explains that by visualizing one's desires as already achieved, individuals can create a mental blueprint that the subconscious mind can work towards. To illustrate the power of faith and visualization, Hill provides several examples of successful individuals who achieved great things because of their strong faith. He mentions figures such as Edwin C. Barnes, who had a burning desire to work with Thomas Edison, and used visualization and faith to achieve his goal. Dear follower, Hill says that faith is a state of mind that can be developed and strengthened through practice. He provides several exercises that can use to develop their faith, such as creating a clear mental picture of their desires and repeating affirmations to themselves. Auto-suggestion, a way to influence the subconscious. 
Napoleon Hill tells us the concept of autosuggestion and how it can be used to reprogram the subconscious mind. Hill defines autosuggestion as the communication agency between the conscious mind and the workplace of the subconscious mind. He explains that autosuggestion is the process of communicating with the subconscious mind through the repetition of specific thoughts or affirmations. Hill emphasizes that the subconscious mind is the seat of all creative thought and that, by reprogramming it with positive thoughts and beliefs, individuals can achieve their desires. He provides several examples of successful individuals who used auto-suggestion to achieve their goals, such as Thomas Edison and Henry Ford. By the way, we explained the book The Power of Your Subconscious Mind in the previous video and showed how you can effectively program and control your subconscious mind specialist knowledge, personal experiences, or observations. Napoleon Hill emphasizes the importance of specialized knowledge and how it can be used to gain a competitive advantage. Hill begins by defining specialized knowledge as knowledge organized and intelligently directed to a specific end. He explains that specialized knowledge is different from general knowledge and that it is the key to achieving success in any field. Hill emphasizes that specialized knowledge can be acquired through personal experience or observation, as well as through education and training. Hill also emphasizes the importance of using specialized knowledge to gain a competitive advantage. He explains that individuals who possess specialized knowledge are more valuable and in greater demand than those who only possess general knowledge. He encourages readers to focus on acquiring specialized knowledge in their chosen field in order to gain a competitive edge. Imagination Mind Workshop Napoleon Hill emphasizes the importance of imagination and how it can be used to turn ideas into reality. Hill defines imagination as the workshop of the mind, in which all plans are created. He explains that imagination is the key to turning thoughts and desires into tangible results. Hill emphasizes that imagination must be backed by action. He shows that by combining imagination with action, you can create a powerful force and turn your dreams into reality. Hill also emphasizes the importance of persistence and determination in using imagination to achieve one's goals. He explains that obstacles and setbacks are inevitable, but people who are persistent and determined to achieve their goals will eventually succeed. Organized Planning – Crystallizing the Desire to Act Napoleon Hill emphasizes the importance of planning and provides a step-by-step -step guide for creating a plan for success. Hill begins by saying that every achievement, whatever its nature or purpose, must begin with a burning, intense desire for something specific. He explains that the first step in achieving any goal is to define it clearly and specifically. Hill then provides a step-by-step -step guide for creating a plan for success. He explains that a plan must have a definite purpose, a specific timeline, and a clear action plan. He emphasizes that a plan must be organized and that each step must be clearly defined and assigned to a specific person or group. Dear follower, you must be flexible and adaptable to changing circumstances, and people must be willing to adjust their plans as necessary. Decision Mastering Procrastination in this section, Napoleon Hill stresses the importance of making decisions and taking action to achieve success. He begins by saying that procrastination, the opposite of decision, is a common enemy that practically every human being must overcome. He explains that indecision and procrastination are major obstacles to success and that individuals who cannot make decisions and take action are unlikely to achieve their goals. Decisions must be made and it is a skill that can be developed and improved through practice. He provides several examples of successful individuals who were decisive and took action towards their goals, such as Thomas Edison and Theodore Roosevelt. Hill also emphasizes the importance of persistence and determination in making decisions and taking action. Perseverance, the continuous effort necessary to induce faith. The importance of perseverance in achieving success. Perseverance is a state of mind, and it can be cultivated. He explains that persistence is the key to overcoming obstacles and achieving one's goals, and that individuals who are persistent in pursuing their goals will eventually succeed. Don't be like the people who failed because they lacked perseverance, like the gold miners who gave up too soon. They must maintain a positive mental attitude, focus on their goals, and never give up in the face of adversity. So too is the importance of having a specific goal and a burning desire to maintain perseverance. Think and Grow Rich is a classic self-help book that has inspired millions of people around the world to achieve their goals and achieve success.
The book is based on the experiences and insights of some of the most successful individuals of the 20th century, such as Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and Andrew Carnegie. One of the key messages of the book is that success is not a matter of luck or chance, but rather a result of applying these principles consistently and persistently. Hill emphasizes that anyone can achieve success if they have a burning desire, a definite purpose, and are willing to take action towards their goals. Overall, Think and Grow Rich is a timeless classic that provides valuable insights and practical advice for anyone who wants to achieve success in their personal or professional life. The book has continued to inspire people for more than 80 years, and its principles are still relevant and applicable today. Before I conclude, I would like to stress this point. Remember, my friend follower, it all starts with an idea. If your mind does not want to get rich, you will never get rich. Put the idea and turn it into an overwhelming desire turn this desire into a plan and never withdraw at all costs. Dear follower, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to support us by liking the video and sharing it with your family, friends and everyone who can benefit from this video. And as I told you, my follower friend, at the beginning of the video, if you want to benefit from reading without what you read, subscribe to the channel. See you next week with a great and better video. Thanks for listening and thanks for your invaluable time. Goodbye.